What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of, well, my YouTube channel. So, we're going to be doing the best lineup of 2019. It does have stats that has been the whole of this season, though. So, let's start off with the strikers. Cristiano Ronaldo. And why? Well, I mean, he's played 28 games, scored 23 goals, and got an assist. He's pretty astonished. Pretty strong player, and he's, he's been pretty good this season. Next in the lineup is Leno Messi, who's probably been the best of this lot, but has missed nine games for Barcelona. He's played 19 games, five, 15 goals, and nine assists, which I think is absolutely outstanding. That might be why I think he won the Ballon d'Or. I can't remember if he won it or not. Next is Saudio Mane. And doubtfully one of the best players in the Premier League right now. Especially up front. He has been amazing and essential for Liverpool to have such a good season this year. So, I've given them all a rating. 95 for Ronaldo. 94 for Messi. And for some reason it's 96 for Mane. Mane should be 94. And next is Kevin De Bruyne, absolutely amazing midfielder. He's played 31 games this season, scored 11 goals and 19, I think it's 19 assists. Yeah, he's got 19 assists, which is absolutely mental. And he's a strong player, but if you meet him in person, he's just quite quiet. But he's an outstanding player. And I put him at 94. I know all those, they, they all say like striker or and Italian. They're not. It's just that's how they were made. Next, this one's going to be quite controversial because I just think he's an absolute brilliant player. Witzel, he's played 25 games, got three goals and three assists. But overall, he is one of the best players I've seen. I put him at 92 rating. So we move on to Kante, and I know some people will be like, oh, what about Paul Pogba? But Paul Pogba has not had the best season, and Kante has been essential to to Chelsea's success, and he's been an amazing player, and he's been an amazing player for, throughout his career. So he's played 21 games. He's got three goals, no assists, but he is a good player. And I, Has anyone seen his top corner goal? In that game, it was really good. So let's move on to Andy Robertson. Oh, actually, I'm just going to say I put Kante at 90 rating. Robertson, 95 rating, one of the best... I think he's a right back. No, he's a left back. One of the best left backs in the world, and that's why he's in this lineup. 34 games, three goals, and I'm not sure how many assists, but he's, he's an outstanding player. Him and... Uh, Arnold pull out the assists and every now and then goals as well. So let's move on to our centre back. Oh, he was 95 rating. Our centre back, Virgil van Dijk. Absolute powerhouse. He's got strength. He's got probably the best defence record in the league along with Harry Maguire last season, but he's overtaken him, and he's got he's played less and stuff, that's why it's just almost even. So he is a great player, a 96 rating, it's perfect for him, but 35 games, four goals. And, and TT is our centre-back alongside him. Obviously, I'm going to put Ramos also in there, but I've already done Ramos. And you'll see him after Trent Alexander-Arnold, who is next. Strength, perfect. Defensive, perfect. And an all-round good player, 94 rating. He might leave Barcelona, but he's been a real good player for Barcelona. But he's only played 10 goals this season, so maybe this is a kind of one that shouldn't be here. But he scored a goal, and he's been amazing. And his career shows that. So Trent Alexander-Arnold, if you put Robertson in here, you can't leave out Trent Alexander-Arnold because he is his 
match Robertson and Trent Alexander-Arnold are just pretty similar because of the way they play and how many assists they bag. He's played 30 games, got two goals. And the assists, for some reason, aren't accessible. I've been trying to find out because they're, they're assist machines. So you'd expect it to be high. So, But let's go on to Ramos. Oh, actually, I'm going to say that MTC got 94. Trent Alexander-Arnold got 96. And Ramos gets a 93. He's really good at, with the strength, but it's not been on form well not on complete form like usual but 93 is about right he's very strong very good defensively and has a good pass and i mean he's for a center back he scored nine goals in 31 games like that is a brilliant one so this one which is david de Gea, is going to be a little different because it's because he's a goalkeeper and stuff. So David de Gea, he's just good with his feet, brilliant reflexes, and fantastic positioning and a fantastic player overall. He may have been slipping up recently, but that's because Manchester United aren't pulling it out of the back. But let's get on to more. David de Gea he's played twenty five games. He averages one point one goal per game conceded, fourteen percent. Of the games, which is like three out of twenty-one, he's played. He has he gets clean sheet, which is not very good. But it's because Manchester United's defence are isn't working. But that can't, you know, make De Gea good, even though his team is not playing well and his stats aren't the best. But I still think he's he pulls out the big saves and he does get pressed at the back because the defence is faulty. That is why you don't see any other Man United players in this lineup. Paul Pogba, I'm going to say this now, he would have been in this lineup if he was still at Juventus, but the way it's just not worked at Manchester United. So he might be in next year's one, but sadly he will not be in this one because he's just not pulled it out. And you're probably thinking, where's Modric? Modric has not been on form. I think Jadon Sancho will probably be a better one for Witzel. But I think Witzel's a good player, so I put him in there. And his stats does reflect it. And the way he plays on the pitch.